Hi everyone, this is Lala from therainqueen.com. Today I'm going to show you which flowers I've got in bloom. Currently my Oncidiums and my Phalaenopsis are in bloom and a couple of them are in spike as well. I'm going to start off with the Phalaenopsis. This first Phalaenopsis is a gorgeous white and purple Harlequin fell. As you can see, it's got big purple spots and these are on a white background. This, I suspect, is one of the Phalaenopsis that was bred from the Grand Pioca Phalaenopsis. And these are the original Phalaenopsis that actually brought about this popular um, spotted harlequin sort of pattern. Now each flower has got a different pattern on it, as you can see. But I wish that they all looked like this one. As you'll see, this has got the splotching on the petals at the back and the two in the front are white. This one as well. But the rest of them have got spots all over the place. I guess this is unique and loud and crazy. It's all right. But yes, this really caught my eye and I thought this is something that I would like to brighten up my home with. And I love it. It's got 16 flowers and big buds in total. So I think it's going to stay in bloom for quite a long time. The second one is this adorable mini. I hope this comes out on camera, but it's actually got a green tinge to it. It's not purely white. What I loved about this was that subtle green color and also the pink center. I hope you're able to see. The center has got this light pink blush on it. And we also have this sort of sunset here on the lip, orange, and it fades to a light yellow. It's really, really gorgeous. And it also has this quality of sparkling in the light. So if you've got it in sort of a, a bathroom where the light is not particularly bright, if you hold it under those fluorescent lights um, or a white light, you get this sparkling effect. It is absolutely gorgeous. Another nice thing about these flowers, they're actually quite a thick texture. They're not that papery thin texture that you might be used to with the typical supermarket Phalaenopsis. As I said, this one has got 15 buds and blossoms on it. And it's quite a, a strong flower as well. Good root system and nice sturdy leaves. They're purple on the underside. The other Phalaenopsis I'm happy to report is one that I repotted recently. There is a video on my channel where I showed you how I repotted this one and one of my Oncidiums. And I'm very happy to report that it is in bud. I decided not to cut the spike off when I was repotting it and I've been rewarded with a bud. It's got three growing tips, if I can show you. One, two, three. And I think each of these growing tips may result in a bud for me. So this will be nice, just extending the, the blooming time of this Phalaenopsis. And as you can see, nice upright leaf, also very happy. I think it's settled in nicely to the new potting medium. Lastly, in bloom is this gorgeous pink and white Phalaenopsis. This is a full-sized one. And as you can see, we have two spikes and it's a multi-floral. So one of the spikes is branched so much. I don't think I've had a Phalaenopsis with this many branches. Um, it's got three branches coming off of the main spike and the secondary spike may still branch. Um, some of the nodes look quite nice. I think we might get something out of there. But I counted 22 flowers and big buds that will open. It's quite, quite gorgeous. It's got that yellow on the lip and these fine dots, unlike um, the, the purple one that I showed you initially. Something else that is very interesting about this one its leaves. I will show you. 
So the other interesting thing about this orchid are the markings on the leaves. I hope you're able to see this. It's got this white and green sort of spotting there. I think it's a lot more apparent on this lower leaf and on this side as well. You can see some spotting here on the leaves. Somebody who's not familiar with Shiliriana may think that um, something is wrong with these leaves, but I suspect that this orchid definitely has a Shiliriana species Phalaenopsis in its parentage. Definitely the way this is branching out, this is branching out much like a Shiliriana and these leaves as well. So just for comparison's sake, I will show you. These are the leaves of my Shiliriana. I'm currently nursing the Shiliriana back to health. The one little new leaf is coming out. I don't know if you can see there. Tiny new leaf. I had to cut this one off on the right due to um, some mold that had developed, but this one is fine. And if you check these markings and compare to this one, they are very similar and may very likely be parent and the offspring. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoy your orchids. If you don't have, please get into this hobby. It is wonderful. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Until next time, this is Lala with TheRainQueen.com.